What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Syria error dpkg locked or dpkg underscore locked. Now um, as you can see I managed to screw up somehow my device, my iPod touch and it's now showing this in Syria and if I click return I have a couple of updates in here or upgrades, click confirm, they download properly but there is an error dpkg uh, underscore locked that cannot be fixed. I tried Yalu official one, the uh, the one created by Luca Tedesco, I've tried my own um, version of Yalu, Yalu dark, but nothing seems to fix this error. And um, as you can see this is the error, the fixes that are on the internet are complete BS, you cannot use them uh, because they require access to some files that you don't have access to. So I'm going to show you in this video how to fix this. Now what I tried initially is to install iFile and try to remove this uh, file in here, installed Yalux, in order to uh, reinstall everything. But unfortunately um, IPAs that you install do not have sandbox escaping. So if I try to remove this file, let me show you, I get an error. Um, let me show you, like this error, the file cannot be deleted. So how do we fix this? At this point you have a jailbreak but CDI is a complete mess, you cannot even remove CDI and it still doesn't work. Let me show you how to fix it. Uh, now in order to fix this error I'm going to show you what you need to do. I have created a special fork of the Yalu Dark, which is my Yalu version, that is called Yalu Dark Jailbreak with DPKG Fix. Now you should not use this to jailbreak daily, you should use this only to fix the uh, DPKG problem and then switch to the normal Yalu Dark or Yalu 102. So let me show you how to install this. This is actually a modified version of Yalu Dark that doesn't really care about that file that we tried to delete because that would be the fix. Uh, it actually doesn't sim simply care, it will push everything back again, including Cydia, including any binaries and so on, and it, it will fix the problem. Let me show you how to deploy it. Now I'm going to go here to Impactor, you should keep in mind this only works on the devices that are supported by Yalu, which means 64-bit um, devices running iOS 10.0 to 10.2. You should get this in here, in CDI Impactor, and of course log in into your details. Now the uh, file has been installed on my device and I'm going to be back on the device after I jailbreak with it. Keep in mind you should uh, restart the device, jailbreak with the new version of Yalu, with the Yalu with the fix, and then I'm going to be right back to show you what happens. Alright guys, so I have jailbroken my device again using this special version of Yalu that I created and it's the moment of truth. I haven't tested this, I'm going to test this off camera and uh, sorry on camera and as you can see this is the actual version when you open it it gives you this warning that I created so that you know you should only use this for dpkg fixing then you should delete this one and jailbreak with the normal Yalu because this one doesn't have persistency this will try to fix and reinstall everything every time you, ru you run it and that's the problem so you should use the normal one after you apply the fix let's see because I'm very curious I'm going to open Cydia guys Okay, there we go, we have an essential upgrade, this looks good. Guys, you had in front of your face the DPKG locked error, which is the worst error that can appear on your jailbreak and usually means that you need to restore your device because it's doomed. Now I'm going to press complete upgrade, confirm and let's see if it installs. If it does, I swear to God I'm going to update this to GitHub. And there you go guys, as you can see in here, it works perfectly, it installs perfectly. Cydia is back again working, no DPKG errors, nothing. And yeah, you basically saved your device at this point because you no longer need to restore. Usually what you find on your and on, um, on GitHub and also on Reddit jailbreak is that you need to restore the device because there are no fixes for that error or the fixes that they give you, for example, deleting files from var dpkg are not actually working. Let me go in here and I'm going to try to actually, as you can see is now, uh, Cydia is now actually showing things that are installed and I'm going to try to show you uh, that I'm installing a pack. Let me try to install something but I do not know what to install. Let me try to install mterminal by the way. M uh, terminal. 
as this is a pretty good tweak. I'm going to go in here, confirm, and if this is installing properly, then we fix the worst problem on a jailbreak, DPKG errors. So uh, yeah, DPKG error is usually the result of a bad stashing or a bad restore, or you try to reset the uh, device to factory settings and so on. Let me try to go in here, terminal, boom. It's working. So this is actually it, guys. You can find my version of Yalu, this one that saved my device from being restored, on the description down below. It's going to bring it to my GitHub. I'm going to also upload a source code of it with the modifications. Do not forget, after this, you're going to uh, remove this Yalu Dark and install the normal Yalu Dark from the description or the Yalu 102 if that's what you've been using. But before you do that, you need to go here in Cydia to make sure the fix is properly applied. You need to do this. Go and search for Filesa and install Filesa File Manager. Because you need to actually remove two different files in order to make your jailbreak to work in the future. So uh, we're going to install this. It's downloading 7-zip and so on. You just need to wait a couple of seconds, but it's going to be important because we now need to remove the uh, old file that prevented our jailbreak from working in order, in order for the Yalu to start working again when, when you jailbreak after the reboot. So um, I'm going to show you how, how you need to do this. Okay, so it's configuring. All right, so you should probably keep that in mind. Uh, you need to install files. Uh, do not skip this step. A lot of people will, would probably try to skip this step as it's, you know, uh, on the last part of the video and nobody watches the uh, last part of the video, but you should try to do this if possible. Let me show you why. We're going to go here on files uh, now that it's installed and go to uh, press this arrow and you're going to see you have two different installed Yalux files. You need to press edit and remove both of them. Click trash, click OK, and now you will be good to go. At this point, you can uh, actually uh, restart the phone. You need to reboot the phone completely and install the normal Yalu. When you're going to jailbreak with that Yalu, everything will be fixed and working, but keep in mind your CDR will be reinstalled and all your packs will be reinstalled again. That is going to be normal and CDR will probably give you again an update or or, uh, you know, the essential packs or complete update. That is normal, but do not uh, forget to do this, it's important. So, um, this is actually it, guys. Thanks for watching. I really hope you will find this useful, and I really hope it will help you as it helped me. I'm very glad that I could help you with this problem. And till the next time, do not forget, give this video a thumb up if it actually helped you. Tell me in the comment section down below if you managed to do this, and peace out.